it's it's wonderful to have you guys here with us. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Um, I am so excited to be speaking to you and starting this journey for Miss South Africa 2023. I can't believe it. It's already it's all it's already time for for some more women to take on this platform and to change their lives forever. And I hope that the guys that are on here, or the, should I say the women that are on here, that you guys are ready to take on this challenge and this opportunity of a lifetime. And I don't mean that lightly when I say that it is an opportunity um, of a lifetime. It is, um, it's really exciting. Um, and I'm so, so happy to be able to share with you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to really make your entry stand out. Um, sorry, I'm just reading some of your, I'm just reading some of your comments. Yes, I will be taking you guys to Super National with me. I promise that I will do all of my lives like I usually do. It will be fantastic and Ayanda is going to be such an incredible uh, representative. But anyway, let's get going. Let's get talking about Miss South Africa 2023 and the entry process. And uh, tonight I want to focus a little bit on on a couple of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys sent in earlier. Thank you so much for sending them in. I really appreciate them. Um, and I hope that I can give you guys a little bit of a a way forward in into how to really amplify yourself throughout this process. And then after that, I will gladly, um, I will gladly answer some questions that you guys might have here on the live. Um, so, so let's start it off. Let's start it off. Um, I want you to kind of think about this process of Miss South Africa a little bit differently. Um, we, we always get such amazing entries every single year. And, uh, you know, every year the, you know, it just goes up and up and up. And, um, we are so proud of the women that, um, that take part in this platform, whether you make it through to, uh, uh, you know, the top 35, the top 10, the top, whatever, uh, we are always so happy and so grateful that you guys enter. And one of our greatest joys, I can say. And also, this is something that the finalists, even ladies that didn't make the finals have have told me personally, is that this process here of entering is so exciting. And the way that we do it, and you guys having to post online and make yourselves visible and take up the space that you want to claim for yourself, is such a criti um, critically important time. Uh, and that they love it and the love that they get and, um, you know, people liking and commenting on their entry photos and entry videos, uh, it, it means the world. So for anybody that's entering, um, don't be scared of this process. It is such a wonderful, um, a wonderful moment to see people rallying behind you and being proud of this brave step that you are taking. But then also to see people that you've never met in your life acknowledging and, uh, and uh, sending you love. And I think that's so important. Um, so important. So if you're not entering, please continue to support these women, to encourage them, to love on them. It is such a brave step. And this is the type of woman that South African women are. They are brave women. And uh, we are so happy to see, to see who will be entering this year. Now, when it comes to your entry, and let's talk Let's talk visual, okay? So there will be a lot of questions that you'll need to answer and your entry form and all of that. But now I'm, I, I want to focus on the visual aspect of it. You have to keep in mind that we as human beings, we are visual creatures, okay? You know, our, our eyes are so, are so important to us because that is how we see the world. And that is how you're going to introduce yourself. Now, I want you to stop thinking about your entry pictures just as entry pictures, because a lot of people can kind of get warped up into this whole idea of, oh my gosh, I need to do this, or I need to do this for my entry picture. But they don't think of the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is, you are essentially, through those pictures, through those images, and through that video, you are introducing yourself to South Africa and to the pageant community globally, because we do have a lot of eyes on us um, um, as South Africa. And you need to keep that in mind when you are entering and when you are actually taking your pictures, when you are posting them, 
How do you want to introduce yourself to South Africa? What is important for you? Um, and how, what do you want people to take away from watching your video? And when you start thinking of it in that way, I think your mind will open up as to what you are going to wear, what you're going to do with your makeup, what you're going to do with your hair, and what you're going to say in your video. Now, I do know that earlier we posted, um, earlier this week, we posted the entry videos of our last three winners for Miss South Africa. And one of the great things, because I haven't seen those videos in a long time, and one of the great things that I realized from those videos is every single woman, Ndavi, Lalela, and Shudu, what they said in that video and how they spoke and how they introduced themselves to you, the public, is exactly who they are. It is exactly who they are. There was no pretense. There was no, um, you know, trying to be a Miss South Africa or what a Miss South Africa want to be uh, or what they think a Miss South Africa should be. It was very clear that these women were exactly who they are in those videos. And today, having known them for three years, two years, uh, a year now, I can say that that is exactly who those women are. And that is something that I want you to take away. When it comes to their styling for what they did, um, the, the way they spoke, it is very clear that we could understand who these women are when they entered. And I want you guys to take that note as well. Write that down right now. See, we have notebooks. Notebooks, cute, hey? Where's the, so look, Werner. <laughs> so write it down in your notebook that whatever you're gonna say in your video, whatever you're gonna wear, however you're gonna look, it needs to be true and authentic to who you are. If you are a woman that loves color, wear color. If you are a woman that loves to wear your hair back, wear your hair back. If you like simplicity or if you like prints, whatever it is that's going to make you feel the most beautiful, think of it as I am going on a first date and I want to make the best impression and I want this person to know who I am um, and to see me, you know, the way that I present myself to the world. That is exactly what you need to do. So when it comes to styling, I'm not going to say wear this or wear this or wear this because that is so... Um, important to who you are. And if I'm going to tell, and that's also part of my styling, um, part of my styling that I, uh, when I give workshops and so on, I say, I will never tell a woman to wear a specific color because color is so integral to who you are as a person and what you love. I love wearing blue, as you can see, and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel confident. So I'm not going to wear red because I don't like the color red, even if someone tells me uh, to wear red. Now, with that being said, I love red on other people and I think it looks amazing. So if you want to wear red, please wear red. But it is something that makes you feel the most beautiful. Um, when it comes to what you're going to wear um, for your video and for your entry photos, make sure that it's something that, that pops, something... Um, something that makes you feel great, but also make sure that it's not something that's distracting um, from what you are trying to do. We don't want to be looking at the dress more than we are looking at the girl. Clothing is always, um, what is that saying? Um, clothing is something that should always be in purpose of letting the woman shine. That is that is what clothing is, is made to do or how I... The, the philosophy that I have around styling is that it's always about the woman wearing the dress. It should never be about the dress. So we don't care what you wear. The judges don't care what you wear, but what we care about is how confident you are, how happy you look, how, uh, how comfortable you look in what you are wearing. Um, that is going to translate through your video and through your pictures. If you feel great in what you're wearing, then that's all that we can expect of you. So when it comes to what you're going to wear, please make sure that it's something that you love, something that makes you feel great, beautiful, confident, um, and comfortable so that you can actually do the job at hand. And that is to introduce yourself to South Africa in the best way that you possibly can. Now, um, I've answered 
uh, someone asked here, um, should hair be tied back? No, absolutely not. Whatever your hairstyle is, whatever you love, however you love the way that your hair looks, that is exactly how you're going to how you're going to present yourself. Because once again, now, if we think back as to what I said in, um, in the beginning, it is about you introducing yourself to South Africa in your most authentic and relatable way that you possibly can. So if you're not a woman that puts her hair up, don't put your hair up thinking that that is exactly what we want. If you love your hair curly or if you love a buzz cut or if you love it a certain way, then absolutely show that to us um, because that is what the judges are looking at. The judges are looking at who is who is confident, who is comfortable um, in this video, who really shines. Now, with that being said, I can tell you because we are visual creatures, if you wear something that's striking um, and it comes through, people will remember you for it. I remember this every year, there's at least one or two girls that before I know their names, when we are going through the sifting process and the judges are judging, and I'm trying to keep track of who had an incredible video, who, who made a, real, a really good impression, I start recognizing them by what they were wearing. So I would say, the girl in the green dress, the girl who had the green dress, um, or the girl who was wearing red in her photo. Um, because that is just how we, you know, uh, identify people before we actually get to know their names and um, their personalities. Because immediately that tells me who you are as a um, as a human being. And that is just something that that's also something that we that we do even when we go to internationals is we use color as a way to be recognizable and um, memorable. So think of um, think of that when you are when you are getting dressed. Um, one of the other questions is how do I match my makeup with my outfit? Simple. We are not asking you to get your makeup professionally done. We are not asking you to put on a full face of glamorous makeup. The time will come for that. You guys know that Miss South Africa is a glamorous platform and that I love a little bit of glamour. But at this moment, at this point in time, it is important for us to get to know you for who you are. Now, a lot of people have um, uh, a lot of reservations about putting them themselves online in, in such a vulnerable way. And, you know, sometimes we might have things that we don't like about ourselves. We might have some acne or, um, you know, not the best makeup skills or scars or discoloration or anything. And that is really not something that the judges are looking at. The judges aren't going, oh my gosh, she's wonderful. She spoke so incredibly well, but did you see she had a scar on her face or she had acne or something? That is something that is not even in a point of contention or even discussion. So please don't be afraid of, of, of showing yourself fully um, to the judging panel and to to us because we are not as critical as you guys think we might be. What we are critical about is, is this woman ready to have her voice be heard? And that's sometimes something that, you know, gets translated in, in, in your, well, it's always something that's translated through your confidence and how, um, how ready you are to take on, to take on this, um, to take on this role. If you are applying for a job, in any other industry, if you are applying to be an accountant or a doctor at a certain hospital or a teacher, you need to go in and you need to do an interview and you need to make your prospective employee um, or employer believe that you are ready for this job, that you are the best person for this job. And Miss South Africa is no different. Miss South Africa is no different. We want to see the woman who say, I am the best person for this job. I am ready. I am, I am focused. I am committed. I am ready to change my life. I'm ready to change other people's lives. Um, I'm ready to have my voice be heard. That is what we are looking at, essentially, um, when you ladies enter. Now, how can you kind of cheat that a little bit? Um, this is something I actually want to give you guys a pro tip. Sorry, I don't know what's on my hands. Um, I want to give you guys a pro tip. I think there's a general idea out there that the later you enter uh, in the entry process, the better chance you have of being seen by the judging panel and by the Miss South Africa organization. Now, that is not true at all. As a matter of fact, I could actually argue the opposite. 
First of all, every single person who enters, every single entry form that is received is given a look through, is being read through, the videos are being watched, the photos are being um, seen. So you don't have to worry about being seen or not. Every single entrant, every single year, whether it is 1,500 or 2,200, and that's kind of where we are playing in um, when it comes to the entries for, for Miss South Africa every year. If that entry has been submitted, it will get seen, it will get judged, it will get appreciated. And, um, and you know, so, so don't think that, oh my gosh, if I enter earlier in this process, then they might not see mine or they might get tired or something. This is an ongoing process. So from the day that entries open, immediately the judges start sifting, they start looking through, they start reading through the entries. So you are actually giving yourself a better chance of being seen and recognized the earlier you enter because there's less women who enter. By that last weekend, I can tell you, there's around 600 to 800 entries and we have to go through every single one of them and we do and we give every person their due and watch every single video and look through every th single photo. We do not want to miss one woman that enters. But, you know, it's a lot of people to get through. Whereas in the beginning, basically no one enters. Everybody's like, oh no. So now that you guys know that that is the case and we've been doing these workshops uh, in order to prepare you guys what you should be doing at this very moment is you should be getting your entry ready. You should be getting your photos ready. You should be getting your video ready so that the time that entries open, you are ready to hit send and go. And that shows dedication and commitment and a little bit of forethought. Um, like, you know, I'm ready. I'm not, I'm not worrying about it. I'm not going to wait until the last moment because a lot of people every single year, they come to us and they go, oh my gosh, I didn't make the deadline because my internet wasn't working. And I'm like, girl, you had weeks. You had weeks to enter. Why did you wait until like two minutes before the entry process closed? So please keep that in mind. And once again, if you are serious about this job, if you are serious about being in South Africa, and if you feel like this is a calling on your life, then do everything in your power to make sure that you are prepared, that you are ready, that you don't have any doubts, that you have leave no stone unturned. I think that's something that's also so, um, so valuable to us as the organization and to the judging panel is when you get an entry form, there's something that tells you that this thing has been thought through. It is not something that was just filled out on a whim. It is not just something that was, for instance, photos. Now, your photos do not have to be professionally taken. Like, please do not think that that is the case at all. But some girls do enter when with a random picture that they posted six months ago already on their Instagram or on their Facebook. It's already been six months since that picture was taken. Now, what happens in your mind is you go, wow, okay, so she didn't have, she didn't think that she needed to take something specifically for this project, for, for, this, for this journey, not for this project, but for this journey. You understand? So, um, and that's another thing. Your Instagram, your social media handle, your Twitter, your uh, your Facebook, that will be seen by the judges and the judges will go through it. So especially when you have a great entry, the judges go, oh, OK, let's see the socials, what's happening on the socials. And you go to the social and you go, mm, not the same girl, what's happening? And that confuses people and people don't like to be confused. They like to know exactly what they are getting into. You know, it's a low risk factor, actually. So make sure that your social media reflects who you are as a person as well. It is so important that that people get to see a little that window into your life, um, who she is, what she loves, what she's passionate about, um, where she wants to go. All those things can be relayed through your um, through your social media cha um, channels. It's actually such a great tool to use. So make sure that that and your entry photos and your entry video all speak to one another so that the judges have a very clear sense of, um, sense of identity when it comes to who they are looking at, who they are, who they are actually 
seeing in front of them, that they don't, that they're not confused about who is this person that's presenting themselves. And similar, that, ha- that, that works for South Africa as well. We are not just talking about the judging panel. You cannot ever think that you are only focused on the judging panel because you are speaking to a global audience. So make sure that people know exactly who you are, who you want to be, why you are here, why you are passionate about being in South Africa. Um, that's an easy way for people to immediately relate to you because they see relatability, they see authenticity, um, and they don't worry about, is this woman the same woman? Am I going to see the same woman that entered in real life? Like, is she going to be exactly like that? Or is she going to be different? Am I going to be confused as to, as to who she is? So keep that in mind too. Um, there's, here was a great question. I don't know who, um, who asked the question, but thank you so much for it. And it says, do you believe that a woman's style can be amplified through confidence? Absolutely. Um, I think that is such a true statement. Um, confidence is what it's all about. Clothing is a tool that we use in order to be confident, in order to tackle the world, in order to step out into the world as our truest, most authentic selves. So your clothing should be, should serve that purpose. Whatever you're going to wear, it should make you feel as confident as you possibly can be. Um, think of, think of moments in your life when you were wearing a great dress or when you were wearing a great outfit and you just had a little strut in your walk and, um, you know, you were just smiling from ear to ear. That is translated through pictures that is translated through a video immediately that this girl is confident. And when someone is confident, you almost don't even listen to what they have to say because you are so impressed by their confidence and the way that they speak and the way that they're presenting themselves that you almost have to go and have a second listen to say, what did she actually say? Because I was just so impressed with who she is as a person. So, um, so keep that in mind too when it comes to what you're going to wear and how you're going to present yourself is that it's all about the confidence that you display. You are applying for a job to be an ambassador for women all over South Africa, for children all over South Africa, and to be an ambassador for South Africa on a global platform. You have to have confidence. Yes, we all have doubts. We all have insecurities. As I sit here, I still have insecurities. I still have doubts, but I have confidence in my ability to get the job done. And that is exactly what you need to show us. Do you have confidence in yourself? Do you have, are you confident enough to know that you can take on this challenge and that you can rise to the occasion and that you can be an ambassador for young girls or women across South Africa? Is that something that you are able to do? And you need to be able to answer that question for yourself before you enter. But like I said, entries are about to open very, very soon and you should be preparing all of these workshops that we've been giving for, um, given to you um, throughout this week has been in, in order to assist you to prepare yourself right now and not have to wait until the end of the entry process um, to enter. I want to see entries coming in on that first day. Whenever that day is, I want entries to start coming through. I want them to come through because that is going to show us confidence and um, forethought and that this is something that you take very, very seriously. Now, I've been talking for quite a long time already, so I wanna answer a couple of questions. So please, if you have a couple of questions, let me just have a look and answer them for you. Mm. See, I never know how to figure out these question thingies. Wait, Mm mm-hmm. Okay, Mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone asked if um, they can smile on the on their entry photos. Absolutely, um, there is nothing more beautiful than a woman's smile. So please smile as much as you possibly can if you want to. If you want to have a serious picture in there as well, you are more than welcome to. But we are not going. Oh my gosh, she's looking like a supermodel because she's pouting. And this one is laughing and being relatable and authentic. So we're not going to look at that one. Please, if you love to smile and if it's one of your features that we want, you want to show off, of course you can smile. 
How much do you need to enter Miss South Africa? That is something that we are incredibly proud of as the Miss South Africa organization is that it will cost you literally zero moolah, nothing. Miss South Africa is not a platform for only specific individuals. It's a platform for everybody that has this dream of being an ambassador for young women, um, not only in South Africa, but across the world. And money should not be a factor. So the Miss South Africa organization will not expect you to pay a cent um, for anything. Now, if you do want to spend some money on entry or on an outfit or on something, you are more than welcome to do it. But there is no expectation from our side that anybody needs to pay anything um, to become a South Africa. Okay. I'm so happy that you found these workshops to be insightful. If you're not a graduate, that doesn't, we don't care. Um, we don't care about the tertiary qualification at all. You do not have to wear a dress. You can wear whatever it is that you feel comfortable in. If that's pants, then please wear pants. Um, I've been quite vulnerable on my social media regarding posting about my time in a mental health care facility. Would that count against me or show a lack of strength? Absolutely not. It actually shows strength. There's strength in vulnerability. And to be able to share that with people um, because you are actively helping people who also feel alone and feel like that's something that they struggle with um, is actually a sign of strength and we consider it as such. So... Um, Thank you for, for, for doing that and for helping people along the way. We appreciate that as well. Likes do not matter at all. That is not a, a, a point of discussion whatsoever. Um, that is in the all the years that I've been part of my South Africa, likes have never mattered in anything, whether it is our official, uh, our official photos that are being released, whether it is the videos that are being released uh, by you guys, your entry pictures. That is, I personally, I can speak for myself. I've never even looked at the number of likes. I've never even looked at the number of likes. Um, you know, this is what the Miss South Africa platform is about. It's about finding women, um, all over the country that the world needs to see. And whether that woman is well known and or whether that woman, no one knows her except for her family and friends, that doesn't matter to us. So please do, do not worry about the amount of likes that you're getting as opposed to someone else. If you have a childhood scar, do you qualify and how can you apply? Absolutely, you qualify. There is no reason why you would be disqualified. Um, uh, from this competition if you have any sort of scar. So you can apply as soon as the entry is open. You can go to um, our official Miss South Africa website. You can go on the app and all those, um, the, uh, the Miss South Africa app and all those things will be linked in all of our socials. So you will know exactly when to enter and where to enter. How do you strike a balance between being confident and sounding arrogant? Well, the thing is confidence is born out of um, out of a self belief that you are able to that you that you are blessed with certain gifts that make that are that enable you um, to do incredible things. Arrogance is actually born from self doubt. Um, people that are arrogant are people that don't really believe in who they are and what they have to offer the world. So I think that is where you have that differentiation is that confidence is knowing that you are able to do the, the task at hand and that you, that you have everything within you to make sure that that it becomes a realization. Arrogance is having self doubt and not actually believing, um, uh, not actually believing that you are able to, to do what is expected of you. Um, I'm 19 turning 20 in November. Can I enter? Unfortunately, not this year, but next year we would love to see you. Um, any person from the LGBTQIA plus community is more than welcome to enter the Miss South Africa organization. Travel to judging is also covered. Um, so should you should you make it through to the rounds where we need to see you here in Johannesburg, all of your expenses will be covered for your, tra your all of your travel expenses and your accommodation will be covered.
you are not expected to pause your studies um, should you win. Um, Shudu is actually a perfect example of actually continuing her studies while she was being Miss South Africa. Guys, thank you so much for all of your questions coming through. I really appreciate it. Um, I have, unfortunately, I've got to go. They're going to start tapping me. I wish I could talk to you guys forever. Um, and I will possibly do a, a live on my personal channel uh, a little bit later in the week um, to answer more of these questions because I see them all coming through. And I'm sorry that I, I'm not, not able to answer them. I hope that this has been informative. I hope that you guys found this useful. Um, I hope that you guys are excited for this journey. I can tell you the plans that we have is um, it makes me even so incredibly excited. Um, uh, I look forward to having you guys as part of the journey. I appreciate every single entry that we get to see your beautiful faces and to see these women of South Africa. And that is why we can proudly go, um, you know, all over the world and say truly without any reservation that South African women are truly the best women in the world. And that I'm so proud to be part of this organization that helps discover women of excellence. And I believe that every single woman has excellence within her. You just need to find the courage to actually showcase that to the world. I appreciate you guys for joining us. Thank you so much. I look forward to the year that comes. Can't believe we are here again. And uh, I can't wait to see your beautiful faces when you enter South Africa. Have a great night, guys. Please be safe. Bye-bye.